Peoples, 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 what's going on? This is your boy Finesse. This right here is Onyx. And today I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. All right, everybody, here we are on the Custom Dynamics website. You simply plug in your motorcycle information by make your model. That'll bring up everything that fits for your uh, motorcycle. Or you can do the buckshot approach and just search for everything. But I like doing stuff easy. <laughs> All right, so when, the, when your item arrives, it comes neatly packed. Uh, you also get some stickers. You'll get a product catalog. You also get some uh, return and warranty information. And as a nice touch, they also add who worked on your order. Um, that That is just, that's one of those things that I don't see other companies doing. All right. <clears throat> Within that packaging, though, so if you've got lights, they put a little protective sheet over the lights like they did here. You also get all your uh, other items that you need in a nice, neat little baggie. And you get color instructions. Man, color instructions are great. So uh, once you reviewed all that, then it's time to get started. I'm installing the Custom Dynamics saddlebag lights for my 2021 Indian Challenger Dark Horse. So Indian Motorcycle does offer a version of saddlebag lights. Uh, however, uh, all, uh, all they are are running lights and it has that in the disclaimer. So when I was looking at those saddlebag lights, uh, for me it was kind of disappointing, right? Because I wanted them to work with my brake lights and the turn signals. Um, so I did some looking around. And I've had some uh, Custom Dynamics products before, which is what I got my Magic Strobe from. I got them from Custom Dynamics. So um, I, I looked up on their website, and they did have a set that's an exact fit for the 21 Indian Challenger. And those do work not only with the Magic Strobe, but they also work with your uh, running brake and turn signal. And that added bit of safety um, is, is something that I was looking for because you know you got you're having more light being produced from the rear of the bike, right? Besides just these two, um, these two lights, which they are bright. Don't get me wrong, and you know you're, you're going to notice it when it's stopping, but you know it's not as big as say something like a car. So if you know people are tr moving around and stuff, it's better to be seen, right? All right. Um, so the process is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to need access to the saddlebags, so I'm going to take those off. And in order to do that, i got to take the side panels off because that's where the saddlebags are connected. Uh, after that, i got to take the seat off because the uh, brake light control module and the magic strobe module, all that stuff is right here on the right side of the seat. So i got to get that off so that I can plug those in. And that's another thing uh, that's great about custom dynamic lights. It's all plug and play. Um, you know, you're going to... They, they include the pigtails and things to connect in line with uh, the wiring. You connect it to your bike, and there's no cutting, there's no splicing, there's none of that crazy stuff. So, like I said, it's going to be a pretty simple install. So, let's get started. All right, so let me get these saddlebags off. So holding on the saddlebag, you have two hex screws. Now I've seen some options that have like some, uh, some fast takeoff style. Um, but with that, I've also seen people where they end up dumping their saddlebags on the freeway. Um, and for me, I mean, I don't take my saddlebags off that often. Uh, mostly it's just for cleaning or, you know, washing the bike or whatever. Um, and it's not something that I need to do on a regular basis. I only take the saddlebags off to clean the bike maybe, uh, you know, once a month. 
if I was going to say depending on how often I ride, but I ride all the time. <laughs> so, oh. And then also for safekeeping, it's something that I do. I take my uh, screws and I just leave them in the saddlebag so you don't have to go looking for them when it comes time. Um, so for this side, I've already uh, taken the side panel off and unplugged it. So all I got to do now is just uh, take this out, set it aside. All right, and another, another important thing to know is that there's these little rubber grommets that are in there. I take those off too because they, they're not being held by anything. Um, it's just a buffer so the, the saddlebag's not squeaking and things. But I also take those off and put those in the bag. So you know where they are. Now to take these side panels off, You've got these uh, little retainers, these little rubber, these, uh, well, it's all, it's all plastic, it's connected to this, but you got some rubber grommets on the side of the bike, you just pull it out. You gotta give it some good pressure though. And, and I've heard grumblings about people saying that, you know, they didn't like all the plastic or whatever the case may be. You know, it's a bike, they're reducing weight. Um, and those type of things, so it's, for, to me, in my opinion, it's not such a big deal. All right, so, and I've got LEDs connected to my saddlebag, so I gotta take that out as well. All right, once you got that disconnected, and you get back over here. Look at that, man, that takes no time at all. Am I gonna save a couple of seconds with one of those little quick things? Sure. Is it worth, is it worth the money? I mean, I don't, I don't know how much, I'm not interested in it, so I haven't researched how much it was, but as opposed to something that I don't need, I mean, look at that. Saddlebags off, easy. All right, now that we got the saddlebags off, the next thing to do is take off the seat and you've got two screws on either side of the seat that hold it in. Um, and I am using a six millimeter hex key to, to get the saddlebags and the seat off. All right, and you slide the seat back you lift, oh, back some more. You lift it up in the front, and then it comes right off. There's a uh, uh, a little holder right here that's keeping the seat on this pin. So you just gotta slide it out and lift it up. All right, now that I have uh, the bike open, so to speak, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the uh, module to the uh, magic strobe. All right, so. We're going to disconnect this one. And just lift that up. All right. Plug this one in. Then you take that same plug and you plug it into there, into the magic strobe. After that, then you gotta find a spot to get all your wires. So, uh, my magic strobe is here. I'm gonna cut this tie to just give me some more room. Be careful not to cut any other wires.
All right. After some, <laughs> all right. After some fierce wire management, um, I think we're good to go. What I try to do whenever I'm wiring or installing something that has wires, uh, it's always a good rule of thumb to use some zip ties. Also, you're going to want to keep things away from important items uh, like the spring and the suspension here. You don't want anything in or around this to inter so that it doesn't interfere with that. So I'm just going to zip tie this wire here. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be super tight. You're not, you're not trying to pinch anything, uh, whether it be wires or hoses. All right, so once we got that secured, we're gonna look at the instructions here. It says the saddlebag light with the brown wire in the harness will mount to the right side. So the wire that has the brown on it, and then there's a wire that has purple. So this here is the brown one, so that goes to the right side. So we're gonna feed that under there. It also has tape on it, and this one doesn't. So that's a good thing to note as well. Uh, but we'll put this one right here so that we can run this wire down inside the chassis here. All right, so let's uh, go inside and get on those saddlebags. All right, so what I have here is the uh, right side saddlebag, and we know that that one is the one with the brown wire. All right, so we got that, and this one is the one that has the purple wire on it. But when they come, they come with this uh, protective uh, plastic on it. Real easy to get off. Just peel. Once you get done with that, on the back, uh, they have a picture of the saddlebag there. Really good illustration with the arrows, with the wires and all. So um, it says select the location for the tie holders, clean the area, uh, route the wires, put the saddlebags back on. Pretty simple. I'm paraphrasing here. <laughs> All right, so uh, brown wire is the one that we need. The saddlebags, they have, I don't know if this is the official term, but it's what I call it. It's like a two-stage closing mechanism to where like the one to give you one click and then you gotta press it again to get it all the way down. So let's make sure we got it all the way closed. I think that's even there. There's, so there's like a slight gap between the light and the saddlebag, which is good because you don't want it like right up on there. All right, and then I'm gonna take this uh, adhesion tape and we're just gonna slightly pull it out to where it sits like this. That way you can get it where you want it and then you pull the rest out. We're gonna do the same on the other side of this. So essentially, you're going to have two uh, little pigtails hanging down. Then we're going to get the light, put it in position. All right, then you take the rest of the tape off. Open this up, make sure we have a good connection. All right, saddlebag light is on. Now all I gotta do is come around on the side here and get a spot for this uh, wire to be routed through. And this comes with zip ties. And then the, the holders for those zip ties, they also have the backing. So let's, uh, let's give that area a good wipe. All 
make sure it's nice and clean and dry. So you got three for each saddlebag, so you kind of want to space them out in a logical way. I'm going to go with both of the connections and then split the difference. About right there, the zip tie. And we're going to feed it through. I got these on there. I got it loose, right? So that uh, once I get it over to the bike and I get the wires and everything where I want it, then I'll get it tightly secured and then cut those, uh, cut the excess off. And then, uh, so first though, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then we'll head back over to the bike. And we got our uh, wire secured on the inside there. We're just gonna bring this back and toss it on. Make sure the wires are out of the way. Just gonna go hand tight for now. Then we're gonna route our wires uh, similar to what we did on the other side. However, this side is a bit different because this is the side, the left side of the bike where you have your fuse box, um, your suspension is running through there, you know, and, and that can make it a bit of a challenge. On the other side, that's the side with the belt, so as long as you're keeping things up tight and high, um, where they're not touching or interfering with each other, you're good to go there. All right, now we got the uh, lights installed. Let's give them a little test run before we button her up. Your hazards. Left, right, and your brake. All right. Hey, looks good to me. All right, let's put our seats back on. <laughs> All right, and then while you have your hex key out, don't forget to tighten up your saddlebags. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today. That was the install of the Custom Dynamics saddlebag lights in the smoked version for the 21 Indian Challenger Dark Horse. If uh, hopefully this uh, install was helpful to you, if you're trying to decide on whether you want to get the saddlebag lights or not. Me personally, I think it's a very good upgrade. Uh, increased visibility, increases safety, right? <laughs> All right, FTC crew, you know what time it is. That's right, man. Ride every day. And most importantly, make sure you're enjoying it. Peace.